Chad, uh, congratulations on, on the win. Just kind of talk us through those kind of final closing moments of the fight there and what was going through your mind. Yeah, I knew I knew once I got him on the ground, I'd have a huge advantage. So uh, when, when we laid it in side control, I just want to take my time. That's, 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 that's where I worked the whole camp. Uh, he ended up giving me the mount, and I felt very secure there. He's very flexible, so he's bringing his legs up high. So I just had to keep a nice high mount and just pick, uh, pick my shots. I knew it would be a matter of time. It's always great like coming to check out fights here in, in Canada. These, these fans are they're a different breed. But what's it like for you just to kind of be going to compete and fight in front of them? It's awesome being 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 the hometown guy out there. They were going crazy for me, you know. So, like I've I've always said from my day one, uh, I definitely want to be the Canadian guy, and I'll fight every single fight I have here in Canada. Um, I was eavesdropping here. You talked about I guess you were not hurt in that fight, correct? No, I wasn't. I wasn't hurt at all. Galore is super fast, man. He I, I don't even know what, what, what he hit me with. I'm here as a straight left or a straight right. Uh, he didn't. He didn't hurt me at all. All of a sudden, I just fell. I was on. He, I, I was on my back, and I was able to get up like right away. But uh, man, prop, props to him. He's fast. Is that what you really had to train for? Was like his speed? Because he seems to be just just watching it. Like he's all over the place. And he's super, super skilled. Uh, I, you know, who was a, a huge asset for, for for this fight was this guy right here, Tom uh, Tom Roberts. He's he's a world karate uh, sport fighting karate champion. You know, we sparred thousands of rounds getting ready for this fight because Galore's got a very a very a very a very awkward style. And if 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 I, if I hadn't trained with Tom and a bunch of the other karate guys, you know, I'd have been I would have been in big trouble for this fight. Is it an awkward? Is, is it an awkward style? Or is it just? Karate in the UFC is kind of awkward. Exactly, it's it's not traditional what, what what most guys train, which is like boxing, kickboxing, more, and uh, Muay Thai, right? So he's very dangerous, man. He's one of the best in the world at, at what he does. So we, uh, we 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 worked hard, really hard with with with, with my coaches Leo, Andrew, and Tom. Kind of he uh, headed up the the karate part of it, and uh, we systematically were able to break him down tonight. So noticing that his style was the karate was the main plan, just to, to try to close the distance and get your hands on him and get him onto the ground? <coughs> main plan was keep distance from him. First round, you know, I knew that, uh, I actually didn't think I would finish him in, in, in the first, I thought I'd finish him later on. You know, I knew I had better conditioning, so um, what my coaches made the game plan for me was stay away early, which you see I did, give, give, give him space, because if, if, you, if you commit too hard and you make one mistake early, it's, it's, it's lights out, which almost happened, right? He ended up dropping me. And then as the fight went on, then I was just start picking up the pressure. But it didn't, it didn't, I got one takedown and then it was game over. So besides the one shot that you said that he got you, were there other parts of, of the fight that maybe surprised you that he did? Or maybe something that you were maybe not happy with your performance? That you no, wanted? he didn't surprise me. He was fast. He was explosive. Exactly what we prepared for. You know, um, I didn't necessarily think I'd get the takedown that, like, that easy. It was, it, was, it was on the first shot. But, you know, I worked really hard for this fight. I didn't take Lord lightly at all. Even though he's 5-2, and two, he had two losses. But... They were all they're both DQ. So he was seven and zero with seven knockouts. So I I yeah I, I did a 13 week training camp for this fight as if it was a world title fight, you know. So it's just nice to go to uh, go, go to go out there get that first round finish. That's three finishes in, 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 in a row for me now in the UFC. So you know I'm I'm hoping to get a big fight after this. What makes sense for you? You know I would I would I would love to fight a guy like Bilal Muhammad or Yancy Medeiros, guys who are kind of like a, like a, like established veterans, guys who who I who I respect, who have been around a long time. Who would, who would bring a good fight to me, you know? So really, I, I really don't care. But just, just somebody who wants to come out there and fight and, and not just uh, hug just hug me and uh, hold me down forever, you know? And you kind of mentioned earlier, you said about Canada. I know we, we had GSP come, he goes. But for you as a Canadian, are you trying to put the, the Canadian MMA on your shoulders? Are you wanting to step out there and be one of the guys that wants to represent what Canada has to offer? Absolutely, you know, I was I was the first Canadian to ever win the Ultimate Fighter. I'm definitely the, 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 the the, the hometown guy, you know. I, I, I take great pride in, in fighting for my country, and I, I, I want to be known as the Canadian guy. It seems like Canadian MMA has had a major kind of boost this year with the, the return of GSP. And, and now that that momentum seems to be back, um, you know, are you hoping guys like yourself and you know, other Canadian fighters, specifically within the UFC, can kind of latch onto that wave because GSP is not going to be around forever, yeah. and, and hopefully, kind of, you know, take over that kind of that spot for Canadian MMA. Yeah, you know, that, that 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 that's definitely guy. I I I want to be known as the Canadian guy. You know, so it's it's awesome to have George back right now, but obviously he's he's not going to stick around forever. And I want to be the next George. You know, he uh, definitely carries himself with uh, class, and uh, he's super humble, super 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 respectful, and I I want to follow in his footsteps.